everyone, it's Silva, and today I am going to be talking about the electronics that I'm planning to use on my upcoming Appalachian Trail 2020 Novo through hike. So I'll be going over what I'll be using for blogging and some of the other electronics that I'll have with me as well. So stay tuned for just a minute and we will get right into it. All right, so here's kind of everything in all of its glory. And I will be going over each thing uh, individually, but I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like all together. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is my phone, which is what I'm recording on right now. And so I can't really show you what it looks like, but I will insert a picture. I do have the iPhone 11 Pro. I upgraded a couple months ago um, for the camera. It's got a fantastic camera, and I really wanted something that would do close-ups of things and zoom in. My other vlogging camera that I'll talk about in a minute, um, you can't zoom in and video. Uh, but this one takes really great close-ups, so that's why I upgraded. I will, like I said, show you a picture of it, uh, but since I'm filming on it, I can't show you what it looks like in video. So up next is my UltraPod Mini tripod. Uh, it has Velcro on it, and then attached to that is my Manfrotto phone clip, and that's what clips it to the phone. It does, you know, stretch out, I do it with one hand, but uh, this has been really great. It's super, super lightweight, and the Velcro has been great. I've been able to strap it to trees or branches, uh, different things, and have my phone on it and take, you know, different angled shots. So that is the first thing I wanted to talk about. So one of the next very important <laughs> pieces of my dog's out here, <laughs> of equipment stuff. <laughs> Sorry for that, for that interruption back to our regularly scheduled program. So I don't even know what I was saying, but my power bank, I have the Anchor 20,000 PD. Uh, this one charges in about half the time of the regular one. I upgraded to this one on Black Friday because I got a good deal. And I gift the other one that I had over to Matt uh, for him to use when we were out hiking. And, and I bought this one. So, you know, we won't always be spending overnight in town. And I know we'll need to sometimes charge quickly or quicker than the other one takes eight or nine hours to charge. And I didn't want to have to wait around for that. So this one is supposed to charge in about four hours. And then along with that is my Aki um, wall charger. It's a dual port and it does have the fold in, you know, charging. And so that'll fit nicely in my pack. And this one again does help charge faster. I wanted the dual port as well so that I can charge my my anchor and my phone at the same time. I will show you some close up pictures and put the the names of everything in the description below. So the other camera I talked about is my GoPro Hero Black 7 and of course attached to it is the GoPro mini iPod uh, tripod and so that just looks like this. So I do really love um, my GoPro for any scenic views when you're up on the mountains or you're in a scenic vista. It really does a fantastic job. Also it is of course more steady than my iPhone but the iPhone has come such a long way. And unfortunately, the thing that I didn't like about this is that you can't zoom in when you video. So that's a bummer when you're trying to zoom right in on a mountain or more importantly, when I'm on the trail and I, you know there's some really cool bugs or there's some really cool nature, mosses and, and different things you wanna zoom in on and you can't do that with this one. And that's one of the reasons why I had got the iPhone 11 Pro so that I, it does fantastic shots when you get real close. So along with the GoPro, I have a GoPro charging bank and a few extra batteries in there because the GoPro does um, lose its charger super fast, I find. So I got the extra, some extra batteries. So I totally have a total of three batteries, one in the GoPro and then the two extra in here. And then the last thing uh, for my vlogging setup is just this little fob that I have and uh, it came with a different tripod. So I just use it to be able to, if I wanna put my tripod down and, and walk away and click the button, Sometimes, because you can't, I can't hear it click, so sometimes I think I've clicked it and I don't, and you can't zoom in and out with it, so I may look for something that's a little more sophisticated. Uh, we'll see, but this does work, and it especially works good, I found on my last hike, so I can keep my hands in my mittens and hit the button and keep them warm and not have to keep taking them out of my gloves or 
uh, so those are the things I'll be using for vlogging and I will show you the other electronics that I'll be using uh, also so tying it up here I don't have too many more electronics I do have of course a headlamp so that when I if I'm night hiking or early morning hiking I am an early morning person typically I'm up by 4 a.m. when I'm home uh, so you know on the trail I'm assuming I'll be up early I like to get up early and get started and then get to camp early so this is my Petzl headlamp and this is uh, the Actic Core and so it's got you know the different settings of course three different settings and then the red light setting so that I, I you know I've been I was using this uh, for running and it works great I love it so I'm not changing anything with that I'm just keeping the same headlamp my other piece is I have these little headphones I do think I'm upgrading my headphones these are not charging well anymore so I, I they're Bluetooth so I do like that I don't like having to be hooked to my phone but I think I need to get an upgrade on my headphones so that'll probably be upgraded before I go and then I have my Garmin in reach I did get the full-size version and not the mini this is the one I liked. I liked being able to have the screen on it in case for some reason my phone died. I could still look at the screen and, and see. So that's why I ended up going with the full version. Matt and my three kiddos were much happier when I'm out there um, backpacking alone when I can get in touch with them. Although if you watched my watch the video that I'll link in the corner of Matt's concerns, it's that I actually respond to the messages in a timely manner. I'm working on it. Getting better. And the last thing I have is just some cords. Pretty exciting stuff right there. So I have my phone cord, I have my anchor cord, and then I have my Garmin cord. And so that's pretty much it. That's what I'll be taking for, for my electronics. Um, again, like I said, I will put the description below. I'll try and look up the weights of everything too. I'm pretty sure I did that all once already. Let's see if I can find it and not have to look up everything again. So if, let me know what you guys, if you have any questions about anything that I have, uh, or, you know, love to hear what you guys are bringing that's different. All right. Well, thank you so much for following my journey. Thanks to all my subscribers. I think I'm getting close to 450. Uh, I'm not sure where I'll be when this video comes out. Maybe I'll already be at 450. So I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Uh, and I hope somebody, you know, learned something from this one. Maybe there's something in there you can use. I can stay tuned. And as always, keep hiking. See you out there.